Hey. Hey guys, I'm in my bunker, hunkered out from this COVID, ready to play some chess, see if I can beat Andrew Davies' uh, computer algorithm. It's man versus machine. Well, all we need to hear is Aaron. Yeah. No, there we go. definitely not, man. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. So nobody heard my screw up. It's gone into the yeah. ether. Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome yeah, to Zero no, Page okay. Homebrew, oh. your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games, broadcasting at 60 frames a second. We have myself, Tanya, and Erlen, who you heard. <laughs> and we have three games today. We have chess, like Erlen said. Uh, by Andrew Davey, it is a 2020 work in progress. All three games are termed 2020. Um, we have an exclusive world premiere, work in progress, uh, called Local Hero by Satyr's Faction. Um, and we've played two of his other games mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. Text Adventure 1 and 2. Yes. And we are going to delve deeper into the dungeons in Penalt and see if we can get to the bottom of, or the top of the dungeon, Do you, actually. Penalt is some dungeons now implemented? Last time I was here, there were no dungeons. Oh, man. Yeah, he's, he's put his first yeah. dungeon in, and we had... Um, it took a while to get to it, too. <laughs> yeah. A couple hours in, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Very cool. That's why I wanted to continue on and actually try and defeat the dungeon, or at least get further in the dungeon. That's badass. Yeah. That's amazing. And that's... Mm -hmm. By Carl Garrison, um, who is in the chat. I saw him in the chat yeah, earlier. Yeah, Carl G is there. And I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who helped help support the show. And they are Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Chag, Charles Reese, Deanoid, Dan AVC, Grenums, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, Laud Mod, Metal Lunar 7, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, uh, Pack Rat VG, RC78, Repentless VG, Retlos, uh, Retro Celery Man, Sir Cat Legs, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Estramers 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki 10K, Trek MD. And I want to thank also, <laughs> again, Ground Trooper for resubscribing just today. <laughs> and Gretams resubscribed. And Gretams. Yep. And Nathan Strom. Gretams, Wonderful. Gretams is uh, on 17 months. That's awesome, yeah. Nathan Strom is 12 months. Ground Trooper is 19. 19, 19 Just months. to outdo everyone else. Breathe. Thanks, Ground Trooper. <laughs> yes. And I want to thank everybody who's tuned in today to the show live, because we broadcast live on Twitch. Yeah. It is Nathan Strom, Splendid Nut, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Andrew Davey has braved the show to come on. <laughs> <laughs> and and Erlen can reassure you there is no worries. Oh no, I'll, um, I'll, he has I'll been tell you guys about roundly it. defeated um, by by your newest incarnation. What was what was the uh, the stats just quickly? Oh yeah, so like I I got to play three versions of it so far, and the first version I was doing really well. The second version I was doing pretty good, and then this last version out of ten games I only won two. So, I'm, so, <laughs> so so odds of me winning today are very low. The the algorithm and the machine has won. You know, biology uh -huh. is very limited. <laughs> Excellent. So we've got a we've got a fight on our hands yeah. with Erlen versus a computer. Erlen's the underdog. Yeah, and Andrew Davies says I have my lawyers in tow. <laughs> we can't slander him. We we're, we're planning on it, but we're not going to do it no. anymore. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, feel free to trash talk Erlen if you want to, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. man, that's uh, all we've good. Also I'll got take it. <laughs> Gretams, the Welshman, eighty nine, Dan, ABC, Kev, Kelly, Carl G, uh, Arena Foots here, a Cafe Man two D, RC seventy, uh, Pack Rat VG, Dios Kilos eighty, whole bunch of people. Uh, if I missed your name, very sorry. We'll get it at the end of the show, um, and uh, so. You can support the show. Oh, I missed that one. And subscribe for free. If you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime, click subscribe and make sure you follow and subscribe and like, click like on all the things. Mm -hmm. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I have a poll question for today because I was going to get my hair cut by you. Um, yeah, you, you, you 
didn't. But we uh, didn't get around to it. No. Um, so it's a little long on the side. Not too bad, but it needs to come down. And I'm letting this grow to a point. We'll see how long that goes for until there's um, barbers and hairdressers back in employment. Mm. Um, but the question is, who is cutting your hair <laughs> during this time of crisis? <laughs> I totally thought he was going to run a poll on what his next haircut should be. Oh, I, was, I, was I when you started, I was hoping. I had the exact I know. Thought that. I was like, <laughs> it's is, too dangerous to be left up to the wisdom of the crowds. I was just like, really? You're going to let them decide? And then, and then, yeah. I would have gone mohawk. Oh, right. I would be I'm like, mildly disappointed. Mad Max mohawk. I want him to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could already, seriously, you could already do that. Oh yeah, I've got lots of hair at the top. Like, like, yeah, very, one hundred percent, very tall, one hundred percent. Um, so the poll is who's cutting your hair? Number one, <laughs> nobody. I'm going feral. Uh, two is myself, Eep, and three is my quarantine pal. So my quarantine pal is cutting my hair. That's right. Some of my hair, so it counts as cutting my hair. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going feral. It's just growing. <laughs> I'm not touching but, it. I'm but not you, touching it. You've got it. the advantage of already long hair it's, so you can't really tell an extra two inches too much that's true this you can tell extra two inches well yeah that's true i think men actually do suffer a bit more <laughs> yeah than a lot of women do because it's easy to have just just let hair grow I, out i think i fun. can guess Erilyn. um yeah. he has his hair pretty short yeah <laughs> that's definitely um less than a month's growth so are you, are you um, able to cut your own hair with some, some snippers? I actually, I've clipped my own hair for the last four years, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, I, you're I, way I, ahead of it. I hate having my hair cut. I really dislike the experience. I, I, it's just a strange thought, you know. I don't like having anyone buzz it. Oh. So I like to do it myself, and I but but right now it's like the shortest it's been. I, I cut it every three days because it's like one of the only things that makes me feel good. You know, it's oh. like wow. uh, it's like wow. having a shower almost. You know, it's like I gotta like shake off this COVID something. I get a new haircut. There's a reset <laughs> button. You know, every three days. Wow. Well, it keeps it exactly the same length. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. It would be great on if you're an actor on set. It's like his hair is exactly the same every day. I would not be cutting it every <laughs> two days if it wasn't COVID, though. This is the this is COVID <laughs> <laughs> neuroticism. It's like something to do, you know. Yeah, we've got a pretty even uh, poll numbers right now. Forty-seven uh, percent. I'm going feral, so that's the winner at the moment. Uh, myself, twenty-three percent, and my quarantine pal. 29.4 percent right. so fairly even yeah. fairly even yeah hate the awkward conversation at the barber yeah when we go i know when i'm going back well i've already i'm, I'm kind of friends with my my hairdresser so on it, on facebook it, it's like so it's it being social in yeah a way. yeah when you when you see alan yeah. so so when i go back to alan he's he knows that tanya's cut my hair but when you when if i've in the past whenever i've gotten you to cut my hair mm. for whatever reason i have no idea why you would do it it's just bad timing or something yeah. um the next time i go back to them yeah. they're like did somebody cut your hair <laughs> they can he tell knows instantaneously immediately. yeah so yeah. yeah i think i think he'll be um a little bit more um forgiving forgiving because every, <laughs> so, everybody's kind of in the yeah, same boat yeah, yeah. but yeah. no it's funny he, he can tell immediately oh yes. yeah um so, mail news and feedback, uh, version 1.1 of Dianoid's Tower of Rubble just got released. He did fully release a version, and we talked about that mm. uh, in a previous show. Um, but he's done an extra update, um, because people were requesting um, specific features after it got fully updated. And he went, sure, I'll add those in. Mm. Um, because he hasn't put it on cart just yet he said at the moment we're working on the manual text and the artwork for the cart it's going to be really cool and the updates are added, ver added to version 1.1 oh thank you arena foot for the link uh, for everyone um, introducing a new one player pro mode where the beams are random and there's no difficulty ramp up so it just stays the same the whole it's just completely random it all the beams everything so it's not cutting out the middle and then cutting yeah. out the sides it's just oh, okay chaos cool. yeah because in a previous post to that he said there's a pattern on where they're dropping yes because you can kind of see that there's yeah, a pattern but there's like an exact pattern okay um because it whittles away the middle mm -hmm. builds up the sides then it joins it back up to the middle and the, and it repeats over and over again 
because if you have tried out this pro mode, you're going to die almost like really, really quick mm. because it's just lasering everything. There's sometimes no safe place mm. to go and there's no safe place that you could have gone. Like mm. you were going to die in a certain pattern, but he made the original game, the one that's going to be released, the non-pro, uh, uh, so that you can always survive. Mm. Like there's always a way. You may not have taken it, but there's always a way yeah. to survive. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, yeah, I'm really excited for a uh, Tower of Rubble as well. Do you well. mind if I open the door? It's getting yeah. hot in here already. Oh yeah. <laughs> as long as the cat is calmed down. I think they're gone. Or gone. Yeah. And Sorry. he also Oof. said in two-player mode, the number of seconds passed are now shown at the top of the screen. Uh, the score two to three is shown when one of the players dies. And that was a thing that I think we talked about when we last played it. It's like you can't tell how far you got in the game when two players. You just keep going till one of you dies. Yeah. But now it's doing the count. Oh, so you can see your score. Uh, yes. A level by level kind of thing. Yes. Okay. So that's really, really nice. Very cool. And speaking of which, uh, in terms of uh, Tower of Rubble and Deanoid, I have a very special early release for the people watching this twitch stream um of the interview i did with dion last year oh yeah it's finally done wow. i finished it off today excellent and i will link everybody uh watching this at the end of the show wow. and it'll be released to everyone else um tomorrow on cool. youtube just in general cool yeah um so we're going to get into chess by andrew davy and the way we're going to do this is that erlen's going to be playing it remotely on his computer and so that we're going to see his playing through through his because we've got uh erlen skyped right now and you can see him in the bottom corner and we're just going to go full screen with erlen um so let me just switch over to that yeah so this is a scary thing having to play chess i've never had to do anything this high stakes before i normally just play on my own against like my computer so i think i've never played anything as public as this <laughs> and it is one of those like benchmarks it's one of those like histories of like its relationship to your intelligence so there's that the, the, <laughs> yeah. the, the mark is very so high we'll see how i do so you've never played in one of those those um, chess kind of tournaments, tournaments, or or in a chess arena, or you know those oh. things that are portrayed in the movies from the '30s to the '50s, where it's like a ton of people in this smoky room playing chess. <laughs> I They're wish all like I sitting there hunched over, yeah. and everybody's gathered around. Yeah, I used to play um, in the the club in university, and it was just basically all me and all people who were on the spectrum just taking out socially, not being able to look each other in the eyes, and just sitting down and playing chess. Is like <laughs> the reality of chess clubs is great because it's actually it's just a bunch of kind of weirdos who don't really know how to belong, but it's cool because you kind of start playing with them, and then all of a sudden you can connect in this crazy way um i had my the reason why i started playing chess was because i had um some students who were on the spectrum and it was the only way i could talk to them and then i started getting into it after that because it's just like it is universal in a way because it doesn't matter who you are if you're playing chess with someone and you know chess there's, it's like a comfortability in it i don't know i've noticed that a lot so so yeah yeah so uh, a little history <laughs> on andrew davies uh game it was first posted December 3rd, 2019. This build is from Today. Um, it's a 32K 3E game. Other games he's made, uh, Atari Age Holiday Card 2003 and 2004. Atari Age uh, Christmas Greeting Card, Boulder Dash, Chess, QB, and Sokobu. And uh, you can download this version that Erlen is playing uh, in the Atari Age forums. And we have not shown uh, Chess on the show before. So this is... Uh, Kind of the debut of it. Mm -hmm. um, and when he posted originally, he said, I have always had an interest in computer chess. I wrote two bad programs long ago. One in Pascal, the one other one in 6502, Atari 800 in 1985. Anyway, I've just had a go at doing a mock-up chess board display. See the video. Each frame is generated on the Stella emulator, but I'm just stepping through the in different instances to make it look like it's animating. This is first release. Um, in reality, this is a screen recording me flipping through the images of multiple runs of Stella. And he says, this is totally playfield graphics, no flicker. So he's made this game completely with playfield graphics. Okay. No um, 
no player characters, okay. no ball, uh, no missiles. It's it's very much like a Sokobu game. Okay. Where it's like big characters yeah. uh, made up of the different colored lines, like the tri-colored lines and each... Um, it's almost like a if you zoom in on a CRT, you can see the RGB colors. Oh, I he's see. He's kind of done that, but picked his own RGB colors. Oh, nice. And okay. it's and it's really really cool, uh, interesting um, uh, look to it, and it, it's mm. very much like it kind of looks like Boulder Dash as well, and Sokobu, mm. and so this is a, along the same lines of mm. that look. So if um, Erlen wants to get into it and switch over to his chess, he's Got it loaded up. Okay, and so I got Carl the... Carl says, I love the pawn with this Queen Shadow cast cart cover. This is another one of James' creations. Sort of uh, it... Well, I put together that cart look. I didn't take that picture. I completely took... Uh, uh, stole that picture. It's it. I just make up... If nobody, nobody... If the people's games don't have a cartridge cover, hmm. I just... I make one up. Temporary. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the person... But uh, you just I, have, want I have to something put something. Pretty. Yeah, something yeah. pretty to, to go up on the screen. So here we go. Um, so Erlen, uh, I you I watched that video, um, the movie. I thought you'd get a kick um, out you, of that. Yeah, it's it's a crazy movie. Uh, what's the name of the? It's, it's called Bobby Fischer Against the World. That is, if you if you, I think that like chess players are way more interesting than the game. Like getting to learn about <laughs> yeah. the minds of these people, and the most interesting chess player is Bobby Fischer for sure. And so Bobby Fischer Against the World is like one of the coolest documentaries I think that's out there because it really gets into the list the life of what what is the toll on a human being to become a chess master. Like, is it is this what we're meant to do? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and and one part of it was he opened with a different pawn move in one of the games. Yeah, and it th and it threw his opponent completely off. And so I guess it's it's really important. Like all pawns are not created equal, right? That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Well, um. So. Uh, so and in this game, you have to move first. Yeah, I have to um, move the, first. The, so you, is that an advantage? Definitely. So like whenever you play white, you begin with a slight advantage because you have what's called tempo, which means you get one turn ahead. So right now I have the leading advantage, but I also get to define the game that we play because it's a fundamentally different game depending on the first move you take. So black is reactionary because you tend to react to what the, the stage is sort of set because really there's only two most common moves. Like if you can see this kind of these two middle pawns to the middle, yeah. that's the most common. Most people don't do anything other than that. You can do some stuff with like knights and stuff like that, but these are the typical ones. So E4 is Bobby Fischer famously said this is the only move that anyone should do and he said <laughs> this was his opening and that was what famously when he went to go do the the move he did c4 which is a weird move oh. no one ever plays this but one thing i wanted to show you real quick about andrew davies um, machine just to show off what it's like so if you look here you see how it's like flashing green if you hold down control yeah. he'll show you what's legal and what's not which is so mm. good i know all this stuff because i've done it but if you're yeah. learning chess, it's so nice to like highlight over it and just have like a sense of like where everything's at, which is so cool. Um, so yeah. I'll just start playing and we'll go for sure. it. I play D4, that's my opening. Um, so right now he made a response. I've noticed this chess machine does one of two things. It's pretty <laughs> much plays, because I always play D4, it pretty much always plays the knight here or here. And basically the knight on this position is way easier than this. This is probably one of the best responses you could make. So this will be a right. hard game. Versus it would so, be an easier game if we did the other thing. So people are saying they can't see you, but that's kind of by design. We're getting a feed from Erlen's computer he doesn't have there's no way well you can but it's very complex to get two feeds from him we're looking at his screen right now um i'm mm -hmm. sure there's a program where we can have him and his screen but um we can't we can't do that right now so we have to choose one or the other and that's why you can't see Erlen. um so uh before this game there appears to be only two chess games ever made for the vcs mm -hmm. Um, one was the original 1979 uh, chess called Video Chess by Larry Wagner and Bob Whitehead. 
um, and the computer can have an average think time anywhere from 15 seconds to 10 hours. So mm. uh, it had a pretty good think <laughs> if you wanted it to. And then the other one was 2017. Um, Toledo at Atom Chess, aka 1K Atom Chess, by Nano Chess, who also made Aardvark. Mm. Um, and he said, I coded this in a night for the Hackaday 1K contest. It has uh, the VCS only has 128 bytes of RAM memory. Of these, 78 are allocated for the chessboard and 38 for the stack. An AI recursive search with two ply depth, remaining 12 bytes for housekeeping. Um, and his says, doesn't have a computer, let's see, no promoting of pawns, promotion of pawns only to queen, no castling, no en passant. I'm sure I'm not saying that correctly. En passant. Uh, no move, <laughs> it doesn't no matter. move validation. If you push the button in the wrong square, well, you can imagine it and can be assembled also for Visual 6502, although too slow for playing. And Nano Chess also uh, holds the record for the world's smallest chess program in x86 machine code, only 326 bytes. Um, oh, oh, what's that Estella UI thing popping up? What you might be seeing is Erlen <laughs> is, there was a, there's a new build that uh, Thomas Yench made just for us for this Wednesday's show that put in a turbo uh, toggle key um, so you could just turn it off and on really quickly um, which speeds up the moves in the chess game because he's doing it on emulator you wouldn't be able to do this on an actual Atari so it's using up a hundred percent of Erlen's CPU when he turns on the turbo mode um, so that'll be coming in a future version of Stella. So I want to thank Thomas Yanch for um, passing me over the uh, brand new um, work in progress of Stella so that we can um, do this on the show. Um, you have to toggle it on and off because if you keep it on and you try and move, you're just, your cursor goes crazy all over the screen because it's going at uh, 2000 speed. So about 20 times the speed. It's able to speed up, give or take. Uh, depending on your uh, computer speed. So when every time the screen's going black, is that because he's speeding it up? The, yeah, that's the correct. screen's going. Well, actually, when it's going well, black, it's thinking. So whenever it thinks, I then turn on the turbo to make it go super fast. And if you notice, some stuff is faster than others. So I can tell sometimes based off of the complexity of the position because it's easier to think at the beginning. Right now we're in the mid game. So there's certain moves that are very obvious and there's other moves that are uh, very complicated. So the, the, the wait time just depends on the complexity of the calculation. Yeah. And, and why it goes black is because also so that it can dedicate all of its um, resources CPU gotcha. to just thinking. Gotcha. Because drawing on the screen takes um, uh, CPU cycles and it has to think and calculate. Oh, I have to draw this here. I have to go look up what a knight looks like and then draw it on the screen. Yep. And uh, the search is only three ply in this version. And that's incredibly low for a chess game. Andrew Davies says <laughs> um, it has an eight ply quiescent search. Um, so I looked up what ply means. And because I didn't know what ply other than wood. Yeah. <laughs> um, so toilet uh, paper. <laughs> yeah, toilet paper. And let me just skip to that. In in two player sequential games, a ply is one turn taken by one of the player. The word is used to clarify what is meant when one might otherwise say turn. Uh. Um, the word turn can be a problem since it means different things for different traditions. For example, in standard ch chess terminology, one move consists of a turn by each player. Therefore, a ply in chess is a half move. Thus, after 20 moves in a chess game, tw 40 plies have been completed, mm. 20 by white and 20 by black. In the game of Go, by contrast, a ply is the normal unit of counting moves. Uh, so exa for example, to say that a game is 250 moves long is to imply 250 plies. In computing, the concept of ply is important because one ply corresponds to one level of the game tree. The deep blue chess computer, which defeated Kasparov in 1997, 
would typically search to a depth of between 6 and 16 plies to a maximum of 40 plies in some situations. Wow. So uh, that's a lot of 40 thinking. 40 moves ahead. Then. 40 moves ahead. Um, For each side, like one, two, three, four. Yes, yeah. yeah. Because not only does the computer have to think about the move it's going to make, it also has to calculate all the possible moves that you might make. After in, making the move. After yeah. making your move. Yeah. And then it again makes another move. So that's the yeah. third ply. Mm. But what I didn't get a chance to look up or didn't find is that how it weighs those moves against other moves. Like how does it uh, know just kinda. What, whether one move is better than another move mm. unless, you know, something gets captured. Yes, that might be better. Uh, so people are saying shut up and let Erlen talk. So Erlen, um, if you can um, talk a little bit about the game that you're playing and also maybe how a computer would weigh one move it makes against another or, you know, the three subsequent moves that it's going to make. Yeah, it's right now we're in the mid game. So it's so much more complicated. And in some ways, this is like I'm we're at a standstill, me and the computer. We're kind of like going back and forth because right now we're about equal. So, so we're kind of waiting for someone to make a mistake. And probably it's going to be the computer, not me. I would be very surprised if it's that. But um, <laughs> because right now we're both kind of on edge. You see it's taking so long to think. That's because there's just a lot of pieces at play. And I think this is about where I lose. Because um, oh, okay. you see here, I'm starting to, I'm more playing more on the retreat at the moment. Um, and we're just kind of like, me and this computer are just kind of like playing some, you know, trying to figure out who's going to do what, I think. Um, <laughs> and... And the way that it calculates it, I suppose, I mean, I don't know necessarily. Every every chess computer is different. The chess.com computer has the information of almost every game that's been played ever. And it, yeah. and it also records the games that people play. So it's really interesting because it's constantly learning, which makes it like a very dangerous computer to, <laughs> to, to play against at the highest setting. And I don't, I'd love to know what Andrew Davies is stuff. I love this chess computer so much, though. Like playing against it's been the most fun ever because um, it plays a bit more like a human. Like I'm finding like this is more of a human position that I'd be in. If I were playing the chess.com computer right now, it would be like they would be making moves that would be just completely destructo so it's neat to have to like I yeah I feel like at some point um, there's just like a little bit of a turning point in a game you know and I'm just waiting for it I think I might have I think I have an idea for what will maybe make me beat this machine but I think the machine's gonna win this round we'll see <laughs> now what um, like in the calculations that the computer is making uh, with one move or the other, how does how would a computer weigh a good move against a bad move? Like, how would it say that, you know, you moving that there or it moving one piece to a different place be a better move since it only can look three ahead at this point? So all the pieces in chess have a, a number value connected to them. Um, and it just depends on, uh, so, so for example, the queen over here is worth nine points and, uh, yeah. the rook is worth five and the bishop and the, uh, knight are worth three. So right now the, the computer will make a rating assessment is in what pieces are more valuable than others. So if it's asked to sacrifice a rook, for example, which is worth five pieces for say a bishop or a knight. Well, then it'll it'll always um, lean towards the higher number, and so it's it it a lot of it's based off of that, um, which is super interesting. Um, what about if there's no captures or no sacrifices in the next three moves? Is is are there positions on the board that are rated higher than others this is where chess becomes so fascinating is that there's almost an infinite number of positions you can find but in general um you're going to want to find yourself more in the center like right now i don't know i think we're we're basically exactly equal at the moment um because we have um equal material so like um but positionally for example right now my my king is way better positioned than this king so this king right here is very 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 vulnerable 
versus my king is pretty well protected. I've got a rook over here. So as so I'm probably in a better position to win just because of that fact, because my, my king is in a better spot. So that's one way to raid it, but it also depends on what pieces are where. And um, okay. and it's it's so I gotta I gotta make a move though it's so hard because this is we're in the middle of the <laughs> okay. big game and this is like the hardest part. To Andrew sort of... Davy also gave an explanation of it. Uh, he says it it happens an, on an evaluation of the end positions. The evaluation is a score. In this game, the evaluation difference in material value, as Erlen says, but also the squares for each piece have a certain value. It's better for the evaluation for knights to attack the center, for example. And there's a mobility component. Score is added for having number of Oof, moves available. There we go. Oh, so the more uh, options you have after af after afterwards, the, move. the higher score. That so makes like, sense. so that's that's good. So you can you can give a score to each move every time. And I guess as you search through all the possible moves, you go, well, what's what is the highest score at the end after I do that move? Mm. That's very very cool. Oh, Cafe Man 2D says, was that check? It was fast. Yeah, that was check. Um, he just popped me down there. So this is like, it's interesting because having a your queen is um, a, both, a, both a good thing and a bad thing because the queen is worth so much that he has the queen basically like solo in my zone. So I have to be careful that he, that uh, be very careful that I have all my pieces defended, but threatening his queen, chances are he's going to bail. Um, I'd be very surprised if he doesn't pull his queen out. So yeah. it's interesting because this, this computer plays very aggressively, I'd say. Like it tends yeah. to push really fast, which is great on some level because see it moved its piece because it's it's in a, in a bit of trouble. And now what's interesting is I can kind of drive it around the board a bit because um, because that piece is so high valued, um, chances are now he's just, we're kind of, again, looking to, for who's going to make a mistake. What I'm going to do though, <laughs> chances are, is I'm going to just trade my queen Okay. And so that uh, so that this game can actually go on, because <laughs> he's gonna take <laughs> he's gonna take the queen. Okay. And that. Um, I have a question for Andrew Davy. Are you going to make just like video chess um, options for different plies in the end, or are you planning on to release just one one version of the game, mm -hmm. or like optional plies like this? Your final game will have an option for you know, level one, two, three for level three, four, five of, of plies like video chess had. Um, so there was, I, in my uh, searching for things about chess, um, there's something called solving chess. And that is referring to figuring out every single move possible in All the chess options, yeah. every single okay. one to the nth degree yeah um because it's hypothetically determinal uh determinable optimal strategy does exist for chess and chess like games um but no complete solution for chess in either two senses is known nor is expected that chess will be solved in the near future mm. there's a disagreement on whether the current exponential growth of computing power will sol continue long enough for some day allow for solving it by brute force mm. checking all possibilities every, every single possible because option. at that point you have a computer that knows the best moves theoretically for everything mm -hmm. but they think it's not possible right now mm. to do interesting. it interesting andrew davy says there will be lots of versions in terms of levels and speed but there also be different play styles and personalities yes oh, see, oh I yeah like and that, andrew davy says it's going to be really ugly when talking He's going to add in Atari Vox support, it'll, <laughs> so it'll taunt the human player. I like that. <laughs> oh, I just lost. Um, oh, no. oh no! Yeah, yeah. He he did a he did a really good skewer, which I'm because I'm playing so fast I didn't see. So that's probably rip for me. I mean, I can keep playing, but I bet you we'll we'll I, we'll see. I might I might be able to win, but right now he has a huge advantage with material. Okay, and is is there situations like you said? Well, he's won, where you would just give up because there's no point in playing further. It's like, yeah, I've de he's definitely won. Um, yeah, there'll be a point very soon because if I can promote one of my pawns, then I, I can win. 
but um, without that, it's pretty much it's impossible to to pretty much checkmate a king uh, with just a, a bishop and a uh, king. Right. So if I can advance one of these pawns, but it's unlikely that it'll happen because he's pretty smart. I, the only time I've ever beaten this computer is if I have equal material and I advance. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Davies says, uh, at this stage, the game doesn't know anything about end games. So it doesn't, it doesn't give up. Er Erlen will easily win from here. Oh, I don't know exactly what that means. So it <laughs> <laughs> apparently... Like the the computer won't. We'll just keep playing as best as it can, I guess. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not very good at end games, so <laughs> it'll, it'll it'll all level out in the end. Um, let, let me think. Cafe Man Two D says, "Took your queen, ha ha ha, chess cadet." <laughs> yes, that'll be very funny when. Uh, he builds that oh. in. And there is a top chess engine championship run every year where they have a number of computers set up. They're all exactly the same computer. Okay. And then you submit your chess engine to play against the other computer chess engine. Okay. So they're there to, to crown a winner? Yes. It's interesting. <laughs> um, top Chess Engine Championship, formerly known as Thierson Chess Engine Champion ch ch Competition, is a computer chess tournament that has been run since 2010. Oh, and... yeah, I see, Rip. I'm done. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've got two pawns left and... Uh... King? Nope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just, it's like at this point he has a huge advantage. So we can, we can, I could play another one or we can probably move on if you want. Uh, no, let's do one more, I think. Okay, cool. Uh, Cafe Man 2D. Uh, so again, are there difficulties in the game? If so, what level are you playing at? This is... There's no difficulty settings built into this game, but this is a three-ply version, I believe, that he has sent over. Let me just check. So... so. I mean, Andrew Davey can explain that a lot better, what level that this is... Uh, yeah. This is the least difficult, three-ply. Yeah, because he's put out three-ply, four-ply, and five-ply. Mm. Um, but um, I think he usually tries to stick with three-ply because the four and five just run too long. Yeah, yeah. And you're just sitting there. So and you're waiting. Unless you have Stella. And you unless you have the new Stella. Rush, and you have, rush, rush. You have yeah. the turbo mode, but that's Fair not enough. publicly out yet. So. so what's interesting is last time, if you remember, the knight came down here. And so this right. time yes. the knights come down here. So there's two variations that we've been that we'll do, um, which is, is I'm happy to play both. So what's interesting about chess now is these are fundamentally different games. There's there's absolutely nothing the same about them, which is why chess oh, is so okay. cool because um, uh, this opening here means uh, there's an, a completely infinite number of variables. One thing though that's interesting, and this is my only thought for Andrew, is that in I'd say that like d4 and e4 are just the most common moves that people play in chess. And what I've noticed is the computer has a kind of finite response to those openings. And what I would personally do is program, if it's possible, more responses to d4 and e4 only for the opening because it changes the way the game plays. Because what was interesting is I know this line quite well. So chances are I might have a bit of an advantage. But it's interesting because this is a very uncommon move. Versus like, you know, you could do this one here, you could do this one here, you could do this one here. So that's that's one of my only um, feelings as, as I've been playing, which is interesting. Because, yeah, this is a and very common line now. Andrew um, Davies, uh, Andrew Davey asked that, um, how did the last game play? Oh, uh, your comments on it. Oh, it kicked my ass. It's it's that I well it also makes sense because that opening is so much stronger than um, this one that we're playing so it's neat we kind of get two different versions because it did it the other response is like such a hard one to play against versus this is a little bit easier. Um, 
And Andrew said, uh, under, like, uh, in regards to the opening moves, um, he said, this program doesn't have an opening book, and you asked for randomness, so that's what you got. I love it, man. <laughs> that's what, I love, love, love. Well, the randomness is so necessary. Yeah, you don't want to definitely have predictiveness in, in the game you play, because then you could just uh you could exploit that i guess right oh see i uh, this this uh, it's interesting it's all a dominoes effects right so this computer did something i really didn't want to happen so because of the way that this game works um i wanted to castle queenside if so i wanted to trade my my king with here and so what he did is he the computer made me have to take a, a pawn that will break apart my pawn structure on this side so now the computer has a bit of an advantage um although i'm up i think i'm up material so i'm doing well but it's it's amazing because no matter what you do in chess it, it there's always like a little something that'll just knock you out which is so cool <laughs> And so um, one thing that goes on is that the, the move I want to make is I want to castle, but it won't let okay. me castle. And the reason why is a the bishop is blocking the way. Oh. So right now, it's, it, it, every game is so different. So this one's fun now because um, we're just in uh, kind of an interesting position. And then also the queen here is eyeing down this spot. So I totally destroyed this opening. So I, chances are the computer's going to win, which is fun. And that's like one of the challenging things about chess is you can know pretty quickly um, how a game's going to turn out sometimes. Mm. Yeah, it's, I think it's almost done. <laughs> in in regards to the the that um engine championship the top uh winner that won last year mm. is an open source neural network based chess engine wow so that means like with a lot of ai is that you feed information into it and it learns from it. And it learns from it. Yeah. But you can never understand the, it's logic. the rules and yeah. its logic. Yeah. Because you just can't tease it apart. Yeah. So you just put a, a move in and it spits a, another move out. Mm. And you just go, I don't know why it picked that, mm. but it's it works that way. Mm. And it's kind of how how brains rearrange themselves. And it's interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like this, like that's like hugely advanced. It's, it's right now, in terms of speed and not throwing the fastest computer at it, it's it's the best in the world at the moment. Are those colors in the game pieces, or that a work in progress, Andrew? Oh, and then Arena Vote has uh, linked the chess. Nice. Yeah, and as you can see, what I was describing earlier before the uh, we got into the game, you can see every the whole board is made up of a sets of three lines, mm. and when it goes back, you can see one of them is is blue, and one of them is like a dark orange, and one of them is like a pinky color, mm. and so everything is kind of made up of those. Those, those three, lines. those three yeah. lines, um, and it's all play field, and it's really, really clever how it's done. So the variation of those colors is what kind of combines together and makes each of those things. So you can see on, on every pass. There's like, on the blue lines, it's like blue, nothing, blue, nothing, blue, nothing. Which makes up the chess chessboard. And then beyond that, it's, you know, it draws what it needs to draw for each of the types of um, types of chess pieces. So each each of those little chunks is like four pixels wide because that's the, the minimum uh, play field can be. And Andrew says this is very close to the final color. It's a beautiful color. I love it. I love it. Mm hmm. that mouse sorry is the mouse on the screen it was oh okay it's like a teacher leaving a, ma <laughs> a mouse in the middle of the mouse. screen during a presentation yeah. 
so annoying. What is that in the corner? Oh, it's gone. Good. Now it should be clear. Yeah. Uh, Andrew says, I'm happy the game has done okay. Not brilliant, but it's been a great preview of what's to come. So that's good. He's happy with uh, his computer's performance. <laughs> so how is this game going? Oh, terribly. Well, I already lost it already. It's kind of <laughs> not in, like, no a, not in like a defeatist way, but it's already I'm it's already in a really challenging position to figure out. But um, we'll yeah. see. I don't. It's uh, it's detection for certain things is is okay. We'll see. I have an idea. We'll see what if it if it makes a good move. Now, if you play enough against, say, this chess chess engine, would you be able to? Or, or even another chess engine, would you be able to kind of figure out the way it moves? I've already the actually way it had thinks? some breakthroughs like that with this engine in particular. I'm really lucky because I kind of had a little bit of a chance it feels to uh, almost prepare. So yeah. it, it, it's been interesting because um, I, like, right, so, like, you can get a sense of the direction it goes. That's why having random miss right at the beginning is the most important. Because there's a lot of really good opening moves, but then when you get to the mid-game, because if you know the opening, you can start to get a sense of the direction the game will go, versus games are really played in mid-game. So, like, right now, I'm actually doing okay again, which is... <laughs> which is oh, miraculous. It was more, but it's also um, I just exploited a bug that it kind of has, which is that it's hits de its detection for when you are like zoning in on checkmate is actually not amazing, and I think that's something that uh, Andrew already noted. So right now I, oh, okay. I'd say I'm illegitimately de doing doing well. <laughs> uh, yeah, Carl, I think pointed that out. Can the king not capture to get out of check? Um, Andrew says, but that's okay. I'm aware of a few bugs, particularly when it starts to lose. Mm. So I'm zoning in. We'll see if oh, I, yeah? we'll see if I can if I can pull it off. <laughs> Turning it around. See, I have no idea what's happening. I'm very glad that you know how to play chess, <laughs> because I don't even know if this game would be able to be on the show without your expertise. Well, I, <laughs> I'm hardly an expert at this. I, I just love doing it. It's so much fun. It's one of those things too, if anyone ever wants to play with me, I have a chess.com handle, which is um, Erlen B. It's just A-E-R-L-A-N-B. And if you ever want to play chess with me, I'm always down because I love playing chess. It's like a really fun kind of meditative thing to do too. Perfect. Um, let me see if I can, if I can uh, get this guy. Go. And in the chess.com, I guess that's where you play mostly? Yeah, that's mostly more I play. I play against the computer a lot because when you play against humans, humans take forever. Like you can see <laughs> I'm playing very fast. That's like that's also like if we were playing a, a slower game, it would be a little bit right. different, but I'm playing so quickly. And I like that because I don't like waiting. <laughs> <laughs> and and is there different variations in chess.com, uh, like time limits, or is it just unlimited? Um, it, it is, uh, there's, it depends. You have 10 minutes total that you can play a game. So you can do speed rounds, oh. but you can do one where you have like two days in between moves. Um, okay. so, so right now I have positioned, uh, the, the king in a place where, um, I'm going to do a skewer. So what's going to happen here is that I move my bishop and it's blocking the, the queen. And the only option is for the queen to take it. So now I, now it has no queen. So this is going to go. That's a good This sign. is going to be done um, hopefully fairly quick now. Um, but I do have to keep my eye on that um, rook that he's got going on there because it's easy to over it's easy to forget that there's, you know, there's there's more going on. Right. Uh, I think this is getting close. Yay, there we go. Whoa. There you go. So I did manage to checkmate it once. Although I think Yay. that I exploited a thing that it had. I, I don't know how legitimate it was, but I... Right. <laughs> but that's the thing about chess, though, is that what was me and this computer are so neck and neck that it really is almost like one person needs to make a mistake. It's like, if I make a mistake, computer wins. If computer makes a mistake, I win. And that's why this has right. been the most fun... Oh, I should switch over to yeah. my face Wait. instead of... Hold on, let me go over to the... 
Excellent. So, what do you think of the interface and and uh, everything like that? I think it's really good, like like you said, for holding down the button on to see the the moves that are possible with each of the pieces. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really helpful for a beginner. Obviously, you know how every piece moves. Yeah, you almost, it's fun. You almost have to have an instinct for it at a certain point. It's such a weird thing playing chess. But yeah, no, I love that it has all the stuff there. And honestly, my feeling about this chess engine is it's probably one of my favorites I've ever played because it is, it feels so pure. It feels like I'm playing a human. Like the fact that it made that weird move that let me, like it's fun because there's those little turns versus when I play the, when you play like these huge computer engines like the chess.com one, how they do it is, um, it, it just you're I feel like I'm playing a computer. It's like no matter what you're doing computer chess is just so different versus this one right. is like Really 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 it's got personality. Yeah, it's got personality It has character and it's also I like that It's so neck and neck and like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it I'm so happy I managed to at least checkmate one game stream. <laughs> Yeah one versus one. There'll have to be a rematch when he's uh, when he's further along. Yeah, and if someone were to go through and analyze those games, I'm sure there's many other ways to go. But that's one of the things about chess that's the nightmare is that you can um, and you can go backwards through your game and look and see like at this point I should have done this to do this. It's right. But um, one thing that I thought was interesting, you guys were talking about it in the in the form a little bit that like if you've memorized an opening to a game, you you'd know. And one of the things about chess is that understanding openings helps you but only to a point because at a certain point you saw that like i was playing really really fast and then all of a sudden i'd stop and when i'd stop <laughs> would be we'd hit the mid game which is that it'd be like oh i have an idea of how this first bit goes but very quickly you hit this point where it's like then you're in i call it you're in the weeds and it doesn't <laughs> matter how much you know it's like when you're in the middle of those weeds it's just you versus machines so this is uh, that yeah. i love i love your your algorithm and your machine so much andrew i'm so and also for <laughs> anyone who um wants to get into chess i think this is a great computer to start with in a lot of ways um yeah because it is so um it, it's an eight level Oh, we cut out for a second. A Andrew said this is only four months into a two-year project, so he has a timeline of mm. of a lot of stuff that he wants to do. He says the the bells and whistles will come, like the Atari Vox stuff that he wants to add in, <laughs> and and <laughs> somebody awesome. said he needs fireworks and explosions well, at the end. So yeah. yeah, yeah, he'll add those. The red in. screen's good too, but yeah, red screen. <laughs> eh. Yeah, yeah, um, I, um, but it didn't have the checkmate for a while, and um, and that's a new addition, which is great. Mm. yeah yeah and, but yeah you always have to work on the core first the core engine get a display that's good enough to see what's going on and mm. then make sure the underlying things are working and then you can pretty it up and give a title screen and a you win or whatever and add those things on because those are those are just the the, the flourishes of it uh, and um, i'd call it tourette's chess but there's bound to offend somebody but who the fuck cares? <laughs> that's a, a something like what will be It'll be like when speaking. So it's <laughs> a lot of cussing going to be happening <laughs> when uh, when it's uh, either losing or winning. Nice. <laughs> so it'll change its attitude, I guess. I, I love the idea you can change the um, the characteristic of play. That's really fun, like to play more aggressively, to play more defensively. You know, if you wanted to practice playing different machines with different takes on it, it would be so much fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he says he's, it's going to have different personalities, so he can probably set up like a set of personalities and have different different lines of speech for each of those personalities mm. and, and different like because um, you can change the sound of the voice for high pitched or low pitched or mm. fast talking or yeah, that that's cool. That'll be really interesting. <laughs> um, so we're going to move on to the next game. Thank you very much, Andrew Davy, for um, getting that version of chess going because he did a lot of changes towards the end so to make it um you know presentable for the show and so it was really great uh, suicidal chess, chess personality yeah. just get it over kill me already uh, yeah the eeyore of <laughs> chess computers man uh, Andrew says, great job, Erilyn. Thank you. Yes, no, thank you so much, Erilyn. Thank you so and much, thank you, Andrew, Andrew, for making the the computer. It's amazing. 
So we're going to play our first game, our second game. We're going to play our first game because mm -hmm. we haven't played yet because we would not be able to play chess. It would just be like, where, where does this one move? How does this work? <laughs> well, oh, we lost again. I, I do know how to play chess, <laughs> yeah. but if it's, uh, Maybe that would I don't just be me. know how to play chess, if that <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. Um, let me just make sure everything is running here. Uh, come on. Oh. oh, I feel so relieved now. I feel like I can relax. <laughs> it's a stressful thing playing chess in front of people. I haven't had to do that before. Oh, I bet. Or, yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> man. It's the worst so feeling in the world when you're losing in front of a ton of people. <laughs> so we're going to go to Local Hero. Uh, and this is by... Uh, Satyr's Faction, and this is a world premiere, uh, exclusive premiere of Local Hero. It hasn't even been posted in the Atari Age forums. And he hasn't announced it at all. Um, so this build is from April 19th, so a couple of days ago. Uh, it's a 32k DPC Plus game. Uh, other games he's made, Local Hero, Text Adventure, Text Adventure 2. Um, I'm sure he will post it at some point. It's just, it's kind of early. Um, you can play it but not completely play it but um we'll see we'll see we'll check out because i played it a little bit and it does have a, a lot of functionality but i don't think you can play it all the way through to any end mm. um so if you go down to today's date yeah, everything's good there um and he says hey i was just wondering if you'd like to look at another game this is him uh, messaging me. Just wanted to make sure it works on real hardware. Still haven't figured out how to fix Text Adventure 2. Sad face. Oh. Because he was having some uh, line count issues. Because mm. to have a, a steady screen that doesn't roll on a CRT or cut out on a LCD display. Mm. Um, you have to have a steady line count so the TV doesn't think, oh, I'm switching to some other but format. I don't recall, like, where, where, did we run into those issues when we played it? We played it on an emulator. Oh, okay. And the oh, emulator. because we couldn't get it to work on the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that makes and sense. an emulator, the Stella can, can ignore it. Can, can There's also a setting down. in Stella gotcha. that you can make the screen go flip, flip, flip if you want. <laughs> it's yeah. good for testing. Yeah. To make sure your game doesn't do that if you don't have a TV. Uh, this one is called Local Hero. I always wanted to make a game where you could create your own hero. This is my attempt. Uh, just to briefly explain how it works, on the first screen you create your hero. So let's get into that. We've got a title screen there. Oh, actually, you have to do this. Okay. He'll fix that, I'm sure. So we've got our hero there. Uh, on the first screen you create your hero, use the joystick to select one of the four powers in each category, then select a costume. Uh, let me uh, skip. I can't even skip to it Brain blast uh the power is strong Snare? you can make a powerful hand-to-hand -hand attack when you press the button you will cha charge your opponent mm -hmm. blast you can shoot some form of energy to attack uh snare you stretch your arms and shoot webs uh or whatever to trap your opponents and drain like the blast but if you de defeat an opponent you gain some hit points back i want a blast okay <laughs> and then the next one is dazzle you have the power to confuse your enemies. Mm. They move slower and shoot less often. Armor. You take less damage from attacks. Speed. You move faster in combat. And cloak. When you stand at the top of the combat area, the crooks can't see you and won't shoot. Okay. Well, I'm going for speed because I like to run away. Okay. <laughs> the next one is fly. You can move over buildings on the map area. Uh, sense. You find crimes, clues more easily. Heal, your hit points slowly return after you're injured. And clone, you have two extra clones of yourself that can also attack. So we have to set up so I can actually see the chat now because Erlen is using... Using the screen. Using the screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm going to go for heal because I do like continually healing as I go through. Okay. So now you, while I'm getting this up, you can oh. go through all the costumes. Oh, there are costume options? Yep. This is awesome. Lots of costume I'm options. I'm very excited now. You truly can this create right your own my alley. hero. Way more at my alley than chess. <laughs> 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 I saw pink in there somewhere, I swear. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. 
it looks like there's like a mullet or long hair and purple so I think I think we're on the right path well wow, it's not much of a delay um, <laughs> trying to pause the video the but video? I can't that's okay um, so I've got the chat up now just have to make sure it doesn't go to sleep which is gonna be a pain in the ass okay so mm. there I I I made a, a cartridge up of as many costumes as I could and I think I got up to 20 and there was still more. Oh, because that's the little cartridge. Sorry. Well, yeah. what you guys see. Um, the... <laughs> Let me turn off the chat for a second so you can see all the the different... That is so cute. Uh... Oh, not that one. That's Round the opposite one. of what I want to do. <laughs> uh, where's the chat? Okay. So I'm going to turn it's off the chat for just a second on there. So you can see all the little characters. There are some familiar ones that are like, oh, I know what that one Oh, I see. Which yeah, is yeah. pretty amazing that he's been able to achieve the looks of different characters with just line colors. Like each line is a different color. Like mm. if you scroll through that one and take a look and try and land on one, there's like Spider Man for sure. There's I Batman. definitely saw Spider Man in there. I know I've already, oh, you've picked, already it. <laughs> I've oh. already picked it. So um, okay. Do you want to reset? Do you want me to start over? Yeah. Okay. We'll scroll through. We'll, we'll scroll Jumping through it again. Ahead. Jumping ahead. I, I get very excited. He, I know. He accuses me of being like you, Erlen, all the time. He's like, "Stop pushing buttons. <laughs> yeah. Pause. It's, like, it's, stop." It's hard we haven't even seen. It. It's like, <laughs> in front I of can't you. read it's that. Like... It went so fast. Huh? Yeah, of course. What are you gonna do? Yeah, it's okay. like it's, it's like human like nature. Push this button or not? I'm pushing it every time. I just want to read <laughs> the chat for a second because it's gone off the screen. Uh, a mullet is on the right path lol yeah uh, and andrew said i was rooting <laughs> last game Marilyn, that you'd forget to protect the bishop and the queen would stomp it uh many thanks to thomas for the stella mod to make the game presentable on a live stream as well mm. yeah. um is this a batari basic game uh, i believe it is um i think his other ones were as well so i think he's continued on with that mm. um because he doesn't um I think he's struggling with line count and that's more of a I think if you're well it's it's difficult in both. So, okay. So you want to go through these? Yep. That's kind of Tronish. That is very Tronish. Yellow? I don't know uh, what that is. That's uh, like Aquaman. That that's, could be well that could be Batman. I don't see Batman purple. head. No. No. That's Superman. That's Superman for sure. <laughs> yep. It it's uh, Spider Man. Spider Man, yeah. It scrolls very fast. That's uh, Batman again. Batman old school. Flash. The Flash. Uh, is that Colossus. the is that the X Men? Cyclops. 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 Maybe. Yep. Don't uh, know. I a uh, Hawk Man, Hawkeye. Hawk. I. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Iron Man. Oh, maybe. Uh. I have no Grey idea. Gray Hulk. <laughs> uh, that's. Green Lantern. Maybe. <laughs> uh, yellow. I don't know. I think know. we scrolled back through again. I think it's we have. very fast. I, so. I like Mullet Man, so. <laughs> mullet Man. <laughs> yeah, Mullet Man's the way to go. Okay. Wolverine, Hulk, Hogan? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan? Wolverine? Whoa. I didn't notice a what Wolverine. I just picked something up. Am I just walking around? Yeah. I. I, I so let's go back to the description. Did you actually <laughs> say what this game is for? Something. There's an X. Oh! Oh, jeez. Mini games? You've hit every bullet. That's pretty good. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you can die in this game. He hasn't. He hasn't implemented. Oh, good. Yet. That is actually very good. Um, oh, I'm terrible. I'm terrible when when you get from, one shot. There we go. From there, you go to the map area where you patrol the city looking for crime. Oh, the X's are crimes. Nice. The exclamation mark are minor trouble, and the magnifying glasses are clues. So I I saw a magnifying glass, but yeah. did I get the clue? If you touched it, you got it. Okay. Um. You'll need to gather enough clues to eventually find the final bosses. If you move onto an X, you go into the right-hand side of the screen, which is the battle area. There will be criminals uh, to defeat using whatever powers you choose. Once you beat all three, you go back to the map area. Um, so that, like, that's what he's got so far. I don't gotcha. think he has bosses done. Oh. So that's an exclamation mark. Those are minor. What is that? Minor crimes. Minor crimes. Gotcha. So you don't actually fight anyone with minor okay. crimes. You're solving them. So you're just running around the maze and and things. Um, yeah, you're you're running around the city. Okay. 
And if you picked fly, you could fly over those buildings. Yeah, but even so, it's a limited maze, right? Like this maze doesn't scroll or it doesn't no. doesn't expand. Maybe he'll do that in the future. Okay, so it's pretty. Right now, that's oh, that's the city. So that's a clue. Nice, I got a clue. <laughs> Get a clue. Um, so there would probably be some sort of count down. Okay. It's like you need ten clues, and then you can face off against the boss. Um, and then the major crimes. Uh, go I to because it's I like these split screen games. Yeah, where part of it's one part of the game, the other part's the other part. And you can see the top right corner is kind of the cityscape in the background. Yes, yeah. Um, he so he has cute. implemented a lot of the powers. Like if you picked fly, mm. we'll we'll pick fly. We'll, we'll after. pick. Well, Erlen can pick someone, and um, we'll let him pick. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh, okay. So you pick. Uh, blast or something? Blast. Yeah, so you have a bullet. <laughs> I'm terrible! <laughs> My timing is awful here. You shouldn't have told me that I that I don't die. Because, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, I can. It's almost like, um, depending on the, uh, the like power a, you have, it's a... It's a totally different game. It is. Well, they're like mini games almost. Yeah. Yeah. And That's you can cute. pick whichever one you're best at. Um, yeah. So if you're really good at shooting, then you might want to pick a guy who can blast. So I, I'm not seeing any change. Do you, do you want to go back and... Um, oh, yeah, oh I, these guys are different. These are uh, these are different bad guys. There you go. Yeah, so he's implemented some, some different bad guys. Nice. He's got score going. Mm. He's got some score. Oh, get that. There you go. That's the same guys. Um, so after this fight, we'll pick a different, uh, some different abilities. It's going right through him. <laughs> I know. Like literally going right through him. Yeah, this guy's hard to hit. Can't get hurt. Oh yeah, you're right. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> Come on. Didn't want to. Oh, bug. I think it's a bug. Oh, oh you got it. I ran into him. Maybe that helped. <laughs> okay, so let's pick a different, All right. um, ability. So that we can show that off. Okay, Erlen, what, what would you like? Let's do the Wolverine Blast, guy. Uh, I heard there was a Wolverine guy. Snare or guy. Drain. Well, Drain won't work. Drain won't work. So because he doesn't have that no, implemented? Because there's no health. Oh, we'll have to find the Wolverine. Um, Heal. That would be a Wolverine. Or Strong. Uh, yeah, you pick Strong. We'll pick yeah, strong. That would work with Wolverine. We'll go strong. Too strong. Oh no, your, your voice is totally off. What we see, that's really weird. Oh okay. yeah, you're delayed by like ten seconds. Oh my goodness, it was fine the whole other. Yeah. Right up to this, that's really weird. Oh Skype. Yeah. Um. Okay, next we have dazzle, speed, armor. You pick speed cloak. already. Yeah. Dazzle, armor, or cloak. Armor won't make any difference because you can't can't get hit. So either dazzle or cloak. I'm gonna vote for cloak. Oh no! What's going on? The audio's like I'm gonna vote for cloak. cloak. Oh, it's really like, off. Like ten seconds oh, off my. the audio. It's crazy. Yeah. And then we've got. Um, Fly, sense, heal, or clone. What did you pick last time? Um, heal. Okay, so fly, sense, or clone. Fly is going to be the most obvious how that works. Um, so Erlen, fly, sense, or clone. Fly over the buildings, sense more crimes, or you have extra clones of yourself that can also attack. Man, I feel like the clone thing is a huge advantage. I'd go with clone. I think it's just delayed for us. Okay, we're uh, gonna go for clone. Yeah, because I can see him talking there, and I can see his audio coming up. But to us, it seems to take forever to spit back out to us. What do you mean really you can weird. see the audio being processed? When he talks, the audio levels go up. But we're not hearing. Well, we him? don't hear him for like ten seconds after. So which that's is super it's your weird. computer, is what you're saying. I don't know something, <laughs> something. Hopefully, it's that's going out to weird. everybody fine. Yeah. 
it's just for you. Good. Oh, good, good. Mm. That's really weird. That is really weird. Bug. I'm trying to I'm trying to lip read Erlen as he's speaking. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Okay, so now you just pick your costume. Yeah. So just pick a different one. Oh. No, he wanted Wolverine. Oh, I don't I don't know what oh there's Hulk. There's oh, is Wonder that Wonder Woman? Woman? Yep. That's awesome. Oh. They're all right like rounded figures. Like there's no Batman ears or anything. No, like that. they are all the same shape and just colored differently. Yeah. I, I, I didn't hard. recognize it. Yeah, it's very fast. He needs to slow it down quite a bit. I guess maybe Wolverine's old costume because he has a yellow costume. Does he? Yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't think you're going to find Wolverine because I, I didn't recognize I feel... any of them as Wolverine. Well, we can figure it. Just pick a yellow one then. Yeah. That one. That's not it. No? No. It's That's close Cyclops. enough. I don't know. Okay, pick, pick that one. Pick that one. Done. Okay. Okay. You want to play? Um, sure. I can monitor the chat. The chat, yes. All right. Okay, so what? Oh. Wolverine right was all away. yellow. That's definitely it. RC70 thinks it's Wolverine. So. I think so, oh, too. Yeah. Well, it could, I think, could I think be, we got yes. the right guy. I think it's Wolverine. I haven't found anything. Did, did we pick sense? Cloak? Cloak. Oh. Cloak. Okay, well. That doesn't come in until we fight. And his, um, I also noticed that his um, collision is off. Like, if you can go through, where is that? Certain, certain like uh, you edges you can go through for sure. Well, it's not too bad now. There. Yeah. Like, you can go through the bottom of the buildings a little bit. But maybe meant to do that. Maybe they're like, mm. like a forward-facing view building. Here's something. I can't get it. Oh no. Ugh. Oh, there we go. So we've got clones, clones. of ourselves. Cool. Oh, I can't. You can only attack. shoot from one. You can only shoot. You... My, my ability is not shooting. <laughs> it's like rushing them. I press the button and it goes forward. Oh, you just hit them? Yeah. You just I, run into them. And I also noticed. Um, Do you run into them with your clone? Your clones can get hit, but you can't get the other guy with your clones so you have to you have, you have to, to get him with the first guy so the idea is not to get shot then yeah but he might fix that yeah so there we go nice i'll i'll oh i'll do this one and then we'll reset and look at some other abilities it seems like the last guy's hard to hit it's hard to get there we go hmm. okay so we got snare blast drain strong we've done strong and it was drain we did we haven't uh i'm dead snare because that like extend your arms yeah we something. picked strong so snare we haven't done snare dazzle speed dazzle. armor cloak dazzle dazzle oh no what happened what what to pick the last one i think i accidentally held down the button come on reset uh snare dazzle there we go fly we didn't do fly and i'm gonna be batman batman okay, come on see now i can go i can go all over the buildings i can go fly anywhere nice he's got his cape out flying across the, the city batman. <laughs> batman doesn't fly see if you're gonna pick batman you'd be able to use the detect that's if you wanted to match it up perfectly, right? <laughs> yeah. Because he's a detective. <laughs> or the sense. The sense. I the think. sense. Yeah. Was, oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh whoa. Nice. Wow. I like that. That's a real easy one to kill them with. Yeah. Because they walk right into it and you can hold it down. Oh, that not. No, it didn't battle? trigger it. No. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's a powerful one. I think that one needs to be limited a bit more <laughs> in some way. Or it just doesn't drain them as fast. Because right now one hit equals a kill on the enemies. Come on. Come on. Spartan581 says, um, oh. maybe the clones draw fire away from the main one. Oh, yep. Yeah. Which see, would make sense. See, like, it would make sense. I can hold this down. They just walk into it. And dead. Oh, oh, I got hit. Oh, it does get hit. Very slowly. I'm trying to get hit. 
Come on. Oh, it does hit you. It's like he does implement. right in the crotch. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, let's see what happens when you die. <laughs> oh, your 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 health is going down. Maybe in the weather ones we you picked, he had heal or. I don't know. I had heal in mine, but. Ah. Um... Obviously, there's going to be some game balancing happening in the next iteration. Yeah. Come on. Because. There you go. So you can so die. So you can die. Okay. It was very hard to die, though. I think it uh, needs to be a little. Um, <laughs> yeah, when you got to work. To... A little more. Sensitive. Yeah. Yeah, nice. for sure. So, drain, we haven't done yet. Nope. Here, let's say is the no? Am but I, he's, am he's, I so crazy his delayed? image just just went really crazy all of a sudden, and it, it looked very like erratic. Like oh. maybe his speak, Erlen. Maybe you're finally synced back I hope, up. I hope that we're synced back up. No. No. Okay. <laughs> I'll just I'll watch. I'll be. I'll, I'm in spectator For us, mode. But not. It's, it got a little better actually. It's not quite as bad. Yeah. Uh, what it, did we not do? Heal. Yeah, we're not. But for them, it's fine. <laughs> you can speak we can hear you but uh it's uh, i just can't look at your look at the video at the same time because yeah. it's a little, well, this a little weird you. we'll just listen which, which didn't we do heal no i did heal that's perfect sense we haven't done it did we do sense no we didn't do sense oh, okay um that guy no no oh <laughs> no wonder woman oh wonder woman has like like um muffin top going on <laughs> It's pretty funny. Tube top. Tube top. Yeah. Tube top wonder one. Well, this guy can't... Uh... Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's pretty easy. Yep. You were shooting, right? Yeah, I was shooting. So, what so did... was there no blast? You took... What did you pick in the first one? I think I picked drain. No. No? The drain was the last one. Strong drain. Because we did snare, which was snare. crazy awesome. Um, blast is just shooting. Yeah. Strong, I don't know. We, you have Erlen to run did into strong. It. Erlen did strong. Yeah, you have to just run. You have to dodge. You have to run at them and hit them. Hmm. Uh, we didn't do cloak. Because that's... No. You can hide at the top of the screen. Wonder Woman! Oh, there you go. Awesome. Okay, so let's... <laughs> oh, so they should stop shooting, which they do. At the top. At the top. But then, oh, you do shoot. Oh, when you shoot, they can see you again. Yeah, that makes sense. You're just hidden for a little So you have while. to go down, then back up, yeah. and then they can't see you. Ah. Interesting. Interesting. Well, it's it's very cute. <laughs> it is. Um, they, he probably needs to change the movement of the guys at the mm. bottom, just to be more erratic, or they stop and move, because they're just very predictable right now in their movements and their shoot, shooting. And they don't harm you enough. So I think it needs to be a bit harder. Um, the abilities he's chosen are awesome. Really, really cool. Yeah, like yeah. The variety that he has. I, I feel like it's very limited. The board is limited. Like, you're going to need to expand out the maze or... Yeah. There's something... Like, the maze itself is very simplistic. You just walk around. So Right. So you need a goal, I guess? Like, like you're collecting specific things or, or you need some sort of... There's no goal right now. You're just no, you're just. There isn't. But it's it's I a can... neat concept, I think, and um, really good. Yeah. And so... I, I love the the customization. You don't get that with Atari games really all that much. So. No, you don't. <laughs> it's like, really cute. Very rarely. Yeah, like, I, I like pick, it a lot. To pick how you look, to yeah. pick your abilities. I, that's why I was so excited about this. Yeah. Because it's so so unique. Yeah. It's really um, cute. Yeah. So I I hope he posts this uh in the atari age forums and gets feedback for yeah. it because i think people will be able to give him a lot of ideas did he send this to you directly after you played his other games or? yes oh cool yes. um yeah he's been really good about um it's very creative like the, like the text on the screen when you're choosing your abilities mm -hmm. like that's that's a carryover from text adventure if mm -hmm. you notice like the little words the two letters wide words yeah so I think we've gone through the whole game pretty I, much I at think this so. point. Yeah. yeah, I mean, not all of the not all of the costume changes, which oh is, no, there's is a lot of them. Cool. I think there's yeah. like twenty four. There's yeah. at least twenty. 
right? I got five by four. Yeah. And, and I know I missed a, minimum. a couple. minimum, yeah. Because it was taking forever. Because I had to do a screen cap and then place it and do another screen cap and place it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your service. That's awesome. It's so yes. cute. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go to uh, Penalt and dive into <sighs> deeper into the dungeon. So are we playing our save game? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to start over. Oh, it took like two hours. <laughs> yeah, welcome to three hours of It's grinding. funny um, looking oh, yeah. at like... Looking, looking at like the stats of who's who's watching. Oh, yeah. I think we hit about hour two, and then it just dropped right off. <laughs> you can only play it for so long. Yeah. But uh, it was it's a really 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 fun game. Yeah. Welcome to three hours of grinding. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. so we're gonna be playing penalt, and this is uh, demo ten. Yep. Go into it. Um, and this build is from April 16th. It's a 128k DFSC game by Carl G. Uh, other games, Cannons, Toy Shop, Terminator, Space Game, and Penalt. This is, is available in the Atari Age forums. We last played this on April 15th. A couple days ago. Yep, go for it. Continue. Let's, let's keep on going. Yep. Uh, where do we leave off? Oh, you lost everything, right? Uh, nope. At the end of... Nope. I don't think so. Let's see. Press the button. Press the button. What button? There the only go. button. We got one. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, we've got a mace and a sling and leather. I mean, we're not up the highest. No, but stuff. we lost. We lost a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. So we do have some gold. We don't have nine hundred gold. How much? Wait. How much? How much gold? One hundred and sixty. Oh, okay. Nothing. Two? Nothing we can get really. So we're gonna have to build build ourselves back up. Are we going right back to the dungeon or? Uh, we could. We could go in the dungeon, kill some things, come out, and then buy stuff. But I think Where was the, the dungeon? I think a good strategy would be to go buy some healing potions before we go in the oh, dungeon. Oh yeah, good point. Because then we don't have to come out. Good point. Right away. So let's find out how much the healing healing potions are. I think they're fifty or twenty. It was in the back area, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was. Was in the back area? Yeah, we it lose was. Carolyn's audio. Did we? Uh, I don't think so. I, nope. I just so haven't just been speaking because um, <laughs> the delay is so quiet. crazy. Or is it delayed? Oh, maybe we did lose his audio. One second. Uh, is it in the back area, or am I? Am I? I this is it. Oh, it's even worse now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wonder if we can. Uh, well, yeah, it's hard if because I can't. That, if there's a delay could, for you guys, yeah, let me try and still, restart it. I can't interact really, so I just don't want to because you guys are the ones playing, so I don't want to take away from me, you know. Okay. Try and talk, Erlen? How's how's this? Perfect. Better for you? You guys track. can hear me? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Now we have instant feedback. Yay! Yeah. Hey, we're back. <laughs> That's good. I just had to reset it. I guess I don't know what's going on, a little buffer. So, Three potions? so what um what character did you guys go with in Penal? Did you go with the uh, what kind of stats? Did you did you lean towards? So did you be using magic stats? or more dexterity or more strength? Check out the stats. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> gonna take that from you. Uh, mm -mm. Strength mostly, a little bit of dexterity, and no intelligence. Well, yeah, because the int is sort of like yeah, it's less reliable. Yeah, twenty five strength. That's pretty good. So we, we've been doing really well with it. Yeah. Because there's a lot of close combat. Like you pretty much end up close combat eventually on every. Um, well, it probably wouldn't be that way if we had better dexterity for the for the um, projectiles. But right at the beginning, we went to the queen and she upped all our strength. Did we actually have a choice in that, or? Oh, I don't think anything went up, did it? Oh, the strength did. Oh. So she upped our strength right in the beginning. Yeah, because we got a bug, ver a buggy version. Yeah. To our. So we got like super high strength. To right, our advantage, right off the bat. not a buggy version, a test version. Yeah. Where he put us at maximum level, oh, maximum awesome. experience. Yeah, so you can just rest. So that we could go to the queen and just level up to level six instantly. Yeah. Um, three potions? Oh, all stats go up by one each level. Okay, fair enough. So I th think we start at five then? 
How many do you have now? I've got three now. So Three? Yeah. Yeah, we can start with three. Yeah, and then we'll just play it safe and kind of head out. Get out of here now. No, I don't want to go in the nope, jail. Straight out. No. Over and down. Oh, there. You're in the yeah. other part of it. Nope, 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 nope. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got some cat drama going on at my place, man. Um, oh, yes, that's right. I saw the photo of the black cat. Well, it's gotten. So did you did you name the black cat yet? It's taken a, sh a dark turn. This this world I had because this because I I've been feeding turtle, which is the normal cat, and then this other cat came around, and I named him Lion because he looked like a lion. And I was like, oh, that's cute. And I started feeding him, and yesterday at night I came home, and they were both there at the same time, and they both wanted treats, and they actually started clawing at each other and fighting. <gasps> And I tried to like separate them and they were both fighting oh. and I was like, I've created a monster. So I, I fed neither of them. So I, ha I don't think I can like, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> I think I, I, I can't go back because it's like now they both feel entitled to the, to the treats. I didn't think about it as I was doing it, but uh, <laughs> now it all makes sense. Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's terrible. I guess you got to be a one cat person, maybe, and pick one. I have. Otherwise, to. they're both going to be coming around. This is like a Betty and Veronica situation. I love them both so much. You know, I don't know. Which, <laughs> I don't know which way to go. Which which cat is is here to stay? Because Turtle's been here forever, so it, it it doesn't feel right to pick the other one. So I have to pick oh. neither. I think I have to like cool it <laughs> off for a few months, which is just sad. You know. <laughs> oh. That's very sad. <laughs> that, I mean, it's good that uh, they they like your affection and your treats, and they come around. But uh, yeah, it's 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 like they say, don't don't feed the bears. Yeah, and now instead of bears, you have cats coming around. Yeah, don't fuck causing with, trouble. Don't fuck with cats. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have. I mean... Nope. Should have learned your lesson from that documentary. <laughs> Go into the dungeon. Get in there. I'm trying to figure out where the entrance oh, is. Oh my goodness. Where is it? Headed over. It's around. You're around? Wrong. You almost made it into there. Where? In there. Left. Left. Oh, there. there. Okay. Okay. It's dark. It's Wait, dark. Do we? Do I have the... I have to cast the spell. Okay. So to get into the dungeon, you, we had to discover one spell and then discover another spell on top of that. And getting that second spell was very confusing. So keep track of where that exit is. Um, because we went to the right place to get that second spell, but we weren't ready for the second spell yet at some point. So we were confused as to like, oh, we've already been there. Why would we go back? And, but we did need to go back to that certain spot. But we got there eventually. Um, Meg, uh, Meg, Meg, Meg Gain D, Meg Gain, Meg Gain D says, "Great shirt, James. Well, thank you very much. Thought it'd be appropriate to wear for the chess match because this is the brains that is going up against Ireland, the six five zero seven in, <laughs> in the Atari twenty six hundred. So I picked this one out today. Um, where does one get a six five zero two shirt? That is a good question. Um, I think I get a lot of my shirts at." the retro gaming uh conventions retro gaming expos um and they don't seem to offer them online a lot so i can't really say where to get this one does it have a generic tag or that one yeah is that generic oh, no this one uh, did you get that one online i'm pretty sure you can buy that online canvas it just says canvas? yeah generic um you might be able to get this one online so just look for mos 6507 t-shirt and you might be able to find it and i can't remember which ones i got where because i've got a big drawer of like 25 geeky video game t-shirts that i cycle through and i i take them from the bottom so i don't wear them too often <laughs> <laughs> and then the ones i've worn stay on the top so they get all cycled through eventually <laughs> so you've got oh it says three healing yeah zero cure well, that's cool it shows the healing and the gold right I've there i've got three yeah so you've got 28 hit points right now 
So this dungeon, Carl G says it goes up instead of down, which is why we were confused when we were there. Up the... levels, you mean? So it's a it tower in levels. But we didn't. I didn't see an up. There was not no... yet. Okay. It's a tower. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a tower in the mountain. So the entrance is at um, ground level, and you're finding stairs up through the mountain. And he chose this dungeon um, to model. He modeled it after an Ultima 3 dungeon that did the same thing, but it was not named. It had, had no name in Ultima 3. But it, it says Dungeon of the Snake, and he got that from... I can't remember where he got it from, but he somewhere in Ultima 3 he got that. But he thought it was, it was interesting and unique because it went up instead of down. Mm. It's the only one in Ultima 3 that did that. So our goal is to find the stairs. The stairs. Up. Up. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking about getting the map for this. Well, you were talking, we were talking about actually physically mapping it out, but yeah. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know vague, I know roughly where I am in the square of, of the dungeon. Oh, Carl so. G says, no, the Ultima 3 version went down. Oh, okay. Oh. Interesting. What? Oh, gosh. Back. No. <laughs> dungeon maps. I can just print it out. But I have to know which dungeon it is. Uh, dungeon of Doom, Dungeon Fires of Hell, Time Awaits, Dungeon this? Clues, Ultimate? Dungeons uh, Perinian Depths, Mines of Morinia, Darden's Pit. Oh, they all have names. Uh oh. Which one is it? Oh boy. Where's that going? It's dark. Oh, Arena Foot found the link for the 6507 shirt. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um. Zombies! Oh, Dungeon of the Stake. Oh, I wonder why it's not listed in here. Thank you very much, Carl G. Snake Ultima 3. Yep, okay, that's the same page. I think the delay okay. is back, so I'm pretty I sure. I will just bring this. I think I'll print it out, actually. Yeah. The delay is bad? Okay. No, it's just, from, it's weird. just from me, not yeah, your guys. When you were full great. screen, it was fine. Or maybe it was bad while you are playing the chess, but it seemed you seemed to be able to rack pretty fast. Oh. Delay on the stream? No, no, no. I'm or... saying it's, it's Skype, me. No, there's a big delay here. From, oh, it's yeah. just my signal oh. to you yeah, guys. Yeah, there's a huge delay. It's weird. But it's good the stream's working. No, no. Oh, because you can hear yourself feeding back through our microphone, I bet. Or back to your the microphone there. So I'm just going to print this out. Printer offline. Really? Really? What? Oh, for printing out the, uh... Why is the printer, like, not even plugged in? It's not on at all. I think it's completely unfair they can attack diagonally. <laughs> there we go. Jeez. No, not shutting down. Uh, well, that's how it was in the original. Ultimate. I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Mystic wins? 
cast your spell. Oh, oh, look at all those. What are these? Do I get them? Are they a thing? Loot! <gasps> yes! Loot. Way to go. Why is the printer not working right now? Right when I want to print something. Of course, it's always a trap. Print poison. Something. Oh no! Your hit points are getting low. Should I heal? Mm, I don't know. I got Maybe 11 golds. Yet. I'm at 16. Mystic wins. Oh, it blows out your. It blows out your torch or whatever that's oh. meant to be. Oh, yeah, because in the original one you had torches and you had to buy torches. Mm. I think that's. Not enough spell points. Oh no! I'm oh. bumping into walls. Oh, it's dark. God. <laughs> An unseen trap hits you. It's your worst nightmare. It's a dark maze. <laughs> oh no! You can't do anything about it. Oh, it's Rabbits. the killer bunnies. Awesome. Why is my printer offline? Okay. It says it's online here. Oh. Hit points are pretty brutal. These enemies seem way tougher than I remember. I think level six is tough. Oh yeah. I think the dungeon's a little tougher too. Yeah, he said you don't want to go into the dungeon until you've leveled up. You're gonna be in trouble if you do. now come on printer still offline do you have enough uh okay you do i do now so i'm using up okay okay we'll use it on the phone Bring up the maps Poisoned. on the phone. Poisoned. This is not good. You know what? I'm going to use my healing potion. Ultima okay. three. Nope. Oh, oh, what just happened? What? I, I kind of pushed against the walls and then there was like a ladder or something. Oh. That's did, weird. Did it say you went down or up I don't know. <laughs> oh. Where's the replay when I need it? I'm not sure <laughs> what just went on. Hell rabbit, that's awesome. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> okay, now I have to figure out where you are in the dungeon. Were there hell rabbits in Ultima? Uh, no. <laughs> Don't remember any hell rabbits in they're Ultima. Just, they're great. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's very traditional kind of uh, enemies. Enemies, yeah. monsters. The hell rabbits are a good addition. Yeah, they are. Let me try and reset Erlen again. setting rodents of unusual size <laughs> okay how's that is that can you guys hear me it's perfect it's again. better yeah, yeah it's man. weird it resetting it does seem to work i feel like yeah. it's a little monty python action with our killer rabbit it's awesome oh. yeah <laughs> it definitely is i just want to like, you run away there's no run away feature you can't hit run away yeah, yeah. there's no flee even in final fantasy no flee. There were flee. <laughs> there's no fleeing <laughs> So once you get back out into the world again, I'm going to try and figure out where you are. The dungeon has its own set of monsters and difficulty based on what dungeon level you are. So there's going to be different monsters on different levels. Yeah. I I went into the far right ha right top corner of the okay. dungeon, but then I swear there was like a ladder or something and I don't know. Very strange. Oops. Oh, cure poison fountain. So that fountain is for curing poison. Gotcha. Okay, so you're in the... No idea where you are. I swear I went up a ladder. I oh, swear. No. I swear. I'm not sure what happened. Or hell still rabbits. still have no idea where you are. I'm still poisoned? Floor two mm. is a big open area. 
Okay, I'm not in floor two then. I'm still on floor one. Okay. You're making a lot of gold though. If That's he's mapped news. this exactly the same, huh? You're making a lot of gold though. That's good news. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Yeah. Well, I it... want that 600 chainmail armor. Nine. Everyone wants that 100? chainmail. 600. <laughs> yeah. It's all about yeah. Yep. It's all about the outfits. Yep. <laughs> also, they're like unique I'm weapons you can get in in Penalt. Uh, there's one there's weapon upgrade, I think. Just no, a mace. Two. There's... It's a staff you start with, mm. then there's a mace. No, uh, there's at least two. Because you guys there's have a mace, I feel buy. like there's got to be a stronger thing than a mace. I could be wrong, There though. is one above it. The, oh. I swear there's one above the mace. I feel like there's a sword I saw yeah, somewhere. Yeah, there's one above the mace that you can axe. buy in the, in the castle. Well, maybe axe, it's an axe. axe. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. I am Oh, uh, Carl, you said staff I think we died mace, and then we just... Sword. Because especially if you're uh, strength based, <laughs> yes, that yeah. would be a huge upgrade. I think we just tried to get back in the dungeon as quickly as oh. possible last time, and because we we died and reset, and the death in this game is brutal. It takes away everything from you, all your gold, all your weapons. There's nowhere you can stash weapons or gold at all. There's no bank, so you literally start from nothing with a terrible weapon and no range based weapon at all. Carl said so we that, just, um, uh, the sword isn't in the demo nor is the bow. So apparently a bow is going to be in an addition too. Oh, uh, yes, that's what is the ranged weapon. Which I, there isn't any. Which makes it No, it's just the sling. That's all just you have. Just the sling. Cuz yeah. cuz that would So make there's the, a staff, a mace and an axe. Um that would make the dexterity build viable cuz at the moment without a bow, why would you go dex? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we chose correctly. I think so, yeah. But then you can get that sword. Ooh, so, yeah. sword. So... Brutal. I want to leave now. <laughs> yeah, because you only have one healing left. Oh, 300 gold. Some walls are fake. Yeah, I swear there was a... There was a fake wall. Uh, should I go back and... Yeah. You said no. Uh, yeah, go back and... Go away. Step off, step off. There we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> We're gonna. Oh, your food is at zero as well. Oh, that's why my hit points are. Is that why it flashed? And you yeah. were like, something happened, something flashed. That's what was happening. Out of food. You're gonna ah. die. Go back to your home. Oh, that yeah. heals you. Where's the food? And it saves. Out of food. Uh, right it's and down. Right and down, yeah. Dexterity helps a lot in the dungeons to dodge traps, Carl says. A town hall? I can't even remember what oh, this I think was it's now. Over more? I think it is over more. It's been a while. <laughs> whole week <laughs> since we <laughs> last week. played. Um was here. Little yeah. Bread symbol. De grocer. Should I get another one? Probably. Oh, uh how many? Yeah. Twenty? More? Oh more than that. Forty. It's only five gold. Okay. Forty? Yeah. So, Erlen, sadly, every time I reset the device for you, it starts out really good, and then it just keeps on straying. Yeah, it's just reality. It's all good. Yeah, it's just reality. It's all good. Yeah, and I don't know where it's straying. It's like straying within the program itself on its sending us your audio. Um, because to the people watching, your audio is fine, which is the weirdest thing. It's good, but I, we don't hear it. It's like a buffer till we hear it, which is really weird that the, the program is building up a buffer of just your audio because the game is instant. Also, we're not hearing the game. We either. We're actually we not hearing Carl. anything He's except you. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Bye, Carl. Bye. Nice. Have a good night. Bye. <laughs> so now that you're going back in the dungeon, I'll be able to know where exactly you are, which is good. It's 
supposedly. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yep, I see where you start. There's a lot of treasure in the first level. Is there? Just four rooms of treasure. Really? Well, yeah. we found one. Yeah. I will give it to you to take over if you want, unless you're... Uh... Sure. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> the wrong way. That's where I'm going. Getting attacked. Yep. I should just be rushing these guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But don't let them come to you. Kay. Well. Because then they hit you. Yeah, first. but you kill them in one one shot a lot of the time. But so they'll you might take as well down your health. Them. Only if they hit you first. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I'm going the wrong direction, so. Yep. Yay. Okay, do you want to grab this? I'm just going to run out very but briefly. We need the. Uh, I, I, I. Okay. Just. I'll try give me and do second. the map <laughs> by myself. Oh. Yep. Yeah, it's so sad. Harsh. I need a cat to help me. And I can't even help because there's this delay. So let's cast Glow so we can. I can't even help because there's this delay. I know. Otherwise, it would be fine. I can. I can. So there should be a door in the bottom. Oh, there is! Look at that. And then there's door down there. Then to the left, there's a secret door. Yes, there is. And there's a bunch of chests in here. So, oh, loot. Loot this chest. 12 gold. A trap, but you evade it. Ah. Oh, and then it changes symbols to show that you have already opened it. Very cool. Oops. So let's see if I can do it again. Loot. Chest is empty. Okay. Loot. 14 gold. A trap. You were hit. For only two hit points. That's not too bad. Loot. You find 13 gold. No trap. Loot. 10 gold. No trap. Awesome. I mean, they're not huge amounts. It's better than especially nothing. Especially compared to fighting some creatures, but it's, it's free gold. Free gold. So, let's head over to the next, the next location. Oh, this is a little different. Oh, that's very different. Okay. Should be a door there. Yep. And a door there. And it's dark, so I have to cast again. And more gold! Or more chests. Oh, it seemed to be guaranteed... Oh, hit. Seems to be guaranteed gold. Every chest so far. But around <laughs> 10 to well, I got 15... You got poisoned? I got poisoned one of the chests, yeah. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't... Oh. Yeah. Does it indicate that you're... A poisoned? trap, you are hit, so you got hit by a trap. <laughs> uh, yeah, it said you've been poisoned, so. Oh, Ugh, it doesn't stay awake very long. Okay, what Kay. am I doing? Okay, we Where are, are we? Uh, there. The We're in the bottom G. corner? Gotcha. There, gremlins stole my food. <gasps> gremlins! Those are the gremlins, so you can see there. Ah. So, No one else can see it, though, so it feels... The map? Yeah, has anyone seen the map? No? I don't think they no. need to see the map. They can follow along on their own computers. Um, <laughs> Carl G posted the map. Oh, he did. Oh, that's good. So, so we're cheating, basically. We're not. We're not actually like randomly stumbling across these things. Uh, so go to the left. Right here is where the ladder's supposed to be. That is supposed to be the right ladder. Right here. I'm on the down arrow right now. Mm. Interesting. Well, did you get the other the other loot? I've got that and that, so I have to head up to that. Okay, so we got this, these ones, so it's the top one. Yeah, I need to okay. go to the top one. Fair enough. Killed. Killed. How is, how is Erlen doing? Is his voice timed up again with the video? No, I have to no. reset it. <laughs> it's I like have to 10 reset seconds, it. I think. It's okay. It is pretty long. Five to ten. Yeah, yeah. it's quite surprisingly long. So we're gonna go up and then up and then left, left. and up. Yeah. Attacked. 
I have to go two up. Yeah. One second, I'm just, I'll just use the bathroom. How many, how many floors? Holy crap. But I think there's an issue. Okay. Alrighty. Carolyn has a hardcore gamer chair. Yeah, a serious chair. <laughs> Didn't see it till Very now. Very serious chair. Oh, he does game. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I killed him anyway. That rabbit's not coming to me. I'll have to go to him. Yeah. I think, I think... Uh, 21. Not too bad. You do gain it bit by bit. Oh, he's not coming. And bite. So I have to go up one. There we go. Loot. Trap, you're hit. Oof. Hit points 18. Yeah, keep an eye on it. And you can see the chest change. Yeah. A hit. trap, you're hit again, you're at 14. Do you want to take a healing potion? Yeah. It's good just to be careful. Healed. And then you're up to 31. Perfect. Until you get hit again. 14. A trap, but you evade it. Nice. Loot. Dexterity. Ten. That's the value Actually. of dexterity. Oh. Hell rabbits! More! I love the hell rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable. They are. They're little ears. They're a bit chunky. They're a little bit chunky. They're like Atari. I'm yeah. going to go find Atari. Okay. So we looted the last room. And now we've pretty much got everything on this level. And we have to find the ladder out of here. It's not where it's supposed to be. So there's a possibility that... Oh, there's one more room to loot. Um, there's a possibility... Oh, one more thing. That he's moved the ladder. Oh, it's dark. Use... Nope, 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 nope. Cast. Cast. Glow. And down. Left. And there's a trap going into this room. Nope, oh, I evaded it. Go. Mystic winds. Oh my god. Watch out, you're going to lose oh, all your points. There's winds going into this room as well. This is where you were. Where I was? Yeah. I've already gotten the those the 3? Nope. Oh. Apparently not. Oh, is it reset? It every might time? reset. Yeah. Oh. Say hello. He's not too this happy with really me. Sleepy and he unhappy. was sleepy and comfortable. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. So it's the wind's going to blow out my Yep. Not enough spell points. Okay, I need to... Yeah, sorry. It's not recognizing that. So I am just to the right of the T. So you're trying to go down. Do you have everything now? Yep. So let's go back to that. Down to the middle? Yep. So how many over to the right do I need to go? I'm Three? One right of the T. Okay. Oh, and then... Should have enough now. Oh, one more. There you go. It's supposed to be the crossroads. Technically, it's right here. Yeah. And we've been a lot of places in this dungeon. <sighs> we've been there, 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 there. We've been pretty much there, everywhere. I've been everywhere. There, and through that lower passage, too. So. I think you're stuck with one level. He implied you can finish this. Gremlins. Yeah, gremlins so let's just go right. everywhere. Well, go to the... Did you go to the right? Into that dead end there? Mm, oh, haven't been... Haven't... Touching the screen. No, I've not been down that passage. Yeah, so, so maybe go down and then to the right. You went up, right? Oh. Yeah, I went down past the gremlins, so I'm going to go through there, through there, and back there. Oh, I so see. So I don't go through the gremlins. Okay, fair enough. Well, you're going to have to go back through the gremlins anyway. Uh, nope. Down? There's ways. Nope. Are there? Oh, down and around, you mean? Yeah. Oh, uh, gotcha. Still feels cheaty to me. To evade? To make a map? Well, to look at a map. I just don't want to make a map. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. 
somebody's already made the map for me and it's the exact same map I don't know I think that's okay <laughs> Okay, so up one to the right and up through here. Oh, there it is. So that was up in the corner. Yeah, that's what I said. I saw no, it before. Oh, I keep touching it. <laughs> Stop touching the screen. <laughs> Filth. Okay, it's to the right of the gremlins. No. Yeah, that's what I said. I'd seen that before. Oh. I didn't ascend, though. Okay, so should I get more healing potions first? You still, do you have any? I have two. Now you're fine. Okay. Keep going. So now we're in the second level. This is the open plan level. Should be. So where does the ladder... Doesn't show a ladder. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Up. So you're in the... No, it's not. It's not this. Nope, it is not. So it's a long vertical passageway. Down. Oh, it could be one of the sides. Yeah. Yeah, but that's See? not where it shows it to be. No, it is one of the sides. Yeah. Ooh, there's a wind. Oh, there's a wind everywhere. Yeah, but... Yeah. So I have to just, go to the wind. Just go. Just go. And then we go up. There's then supposed we to be a door. Be, then we should be in the open area. Yeah. Which we are. Yeah. And there's nothing in here except ladders. So you're going... There's twos. What are those? You're going up, right? Sign two. Cards into Exodus. And NES, I pray at the altar. Oh, it just gives you... It's just what the words that pop up okay. on the screen. Okay. So this is just a room of ladders in the dark. Oh. Ascend? No. Ascend? Yeah, because yeah, he reversed it. Yeah. So we're on this next one. Okay. Depends on which one you went in. You're in one yeah. of those four. We're in the top left, so it corresponds perfectly mm. to it. So that's, what's a T? Trade wind. Oh, God. I think. No, W is wind. Oh, I don't know what T is then. Trap. Oh, okay. Let's go through not the trap. So go to the door then. Down and then to the door. Down, no. Where are I'm you? Straight. Which one are you I was you just in? above the trap, so I'm going over. Yeah, down and then go through the door. Those are doors, aren't they? Those X's? To the right, you mean, not down. Down is that to the trap. I thought you were here. Down I, I, and then right to the door. I was just above the T. I, <laughs> I was above the T. <laughs> <laughs> above the T, the place above All the T. Right. Um, so there's nothing in this. You want to go down? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I have to go through that. What do you mean? I have to go through the... Uh, or you could go all the, all way, the around. way around. Nah. It's only wind. Depends how bad that trap Oh, it didn't is. do anything. Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap. Uh, I didn't do much. Ascend! Now, it doesn't say what level we're on. Next one? Yep. How many levels are there? Oh, my God. <laughs> so many levels. Okay, so we're there. Yeah. The treasure chests don't do anything. Like, they're so small. Well, I'm they not just give bother. you gold. No, not, you should go for They're the, like 10, 10 each. So, so you just want to see all the levels? Because then, yeah. what's the point if you're not going for the to treasure chests? Get right chest? to the end to win. That's what we want to get. See, this is a, obviously a difference in philosophy. I want to get all the gold. He just wants to get to the end. <laughs> hey, man, I want, I want that, uh, okay, so that chain mail as well. Uh, down arrow. <laughs> Uh, we're on four, right? We're right there on four. So we just came up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We'll, we'll get there through. So encounters. you need the door. Are those doors? That's a fake. So go through the wall there to the right. To the right. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Yeah, and then you can go down to the next level if you okay. don't want to get any. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, ropers? what are those? You said ropers. It'll say in a Didn't second. Quite see it. Roper. roper. Interesting. Like from Three's Company? That's the only roper I know. <laughs> yeah. Only roper I've ever heard of. <laughs> Are they um, bad maybe for direct contact? Like maybe they're better for distance? Because some of them, they all the... No, they're all not the, shooting um, distance, so there we go. Um... Yeah, the different monsters have different weaknesses for sure. Some yeah. are a lot more powerful in their attack, and some respond. You can you can shoot them and hit them, and they and, and kill them pretty quickly. So. Yeah, and some bounce around. Well, the, te teleport. the teleport ones, yeah. You locked me out. <laughs> uh. Okay, 
I'm at that ladder. Okay. So we're just we're just going for it then. Yep. Okay. Okay. In How the middle. I... What's the P? What are the yellow P's? I don't know what that is. I might say to the side of it. Oh, C's, C's are poison fountain. Don't drink from the fountains on this level. <laughs> They're all poison. So, how do I... So you're at the bottom corner, and it's in the middle. There's no traps or anything. Just don't drink. Don't there's go a, on the fountains. There's a trap right next to me. Oh, you have you're to. A terrible you have navigator. To. You have to pass <laughs> through the trap. There's no way around the trap. Okay. All of them have traps, so... Do you have... How's your health? Your health is pretty good. Hopefully the trap isn't too bad. Oh, I don't think it did anything. Good. But how many over? Okay, that's the second... You want me to count? Well, you've already started moving, so just go up. Avoid the fountains. Okay. How are we doing for gold? Uh, oh, we're already at 631. We can get the chain mail. We we're can. already there. When we exit, we'll, we'll get it. <laughs> I think we have to ascend this whole thing again, too. Do we? Yeah. Hmm. Well, you can you can target some of the... Up to you. Target some of the treasure. No. You don't need to be here all night, so exactly. That's why. <laughs> that's why I don't want to get any of the treasure. It'll Fair take, enough. Take hours to get all the treasure. Hours. And you still have two healing potions. <gasps> My dragon. <gasps> uh oh. He responds though. As long as you kill this guy. Yeah. Right. Yes, but apparently, I might be outmatched at this point. Oh, really? If they're killing your dragon? Yep. Well, just, what do you want to do? <laughs> you can press the power and, and yeah, sign in. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's just go. Go for it as quickly as we can. Yeah. Okay, next one. Are you in the middle? Yep. And you went up? Yep. Okay. <laughs> there is cure poison and healing fountains. I'm not poisoned. I just do want you to get heal? to the ladder. Okay. Oh, healed? Yeah, yep. so the, the, the right hand ones. Either of them are both right. In okay. theory, healing potions. Mm, just healing. Yep. Poison. poison. Yep. Yep. Healing. It didn't heal you. No. Just poison. Oh. No. It says the cure poison is supposed to be on the left. So try try one of the ones on the left. Oh. So maybe they they inverted it. No. Nope. Mysterious voice says, "Don't drink." Yeah, I'm gonna die soon. You think so? <laughs> yep. He's, uh, what is going on? There's nothing here. They're invisible-ish. <gasps> no. Ice devils. Well, they're black. Yeah, they're invisible-ish. Oh, they're right in front of you now. No enemy there. <gasps> oh no. Do you need a? Do you need a spell? Oh, oh, I got it. I hit him. Did you? Oh, I got it. What did that Just say? by ranged. Killed. Interesting. I don't know what happened. No warm. What is that? <laughs> what did that mean? I did kill one of them. Oh, yeah. I'm about to die. You are. Use. Use. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> On this level. You think? Yeah. I'm able to hit them, but they're really powerful. That's the problem. No harm. My dragon's able to kill them, but I'm not. Are, have you been using biting, or have you been... Uh... No, ranged. just biting. No harm. Yeah, the biting kills them, but... Oh my god, I gotta move out of the way. Oh, he's got two... No, there's, there's two of them. There's two. Oh, okay. Missed. He's gonna die. He is. I guess I better do range attacks, too. No, oh, one left. Move him. Still alive. Mm, shockingly. No harm. Whatever weapon I have is not... Oh. Well, you have a sling. And the dragon's dead. <gasps> no. Ranged? No harm. It, it, the range doesn't seem to hit them. You have to bite them. Yeah. Or attack them. I think I'm going to have to cast something on them. Array. Yep. So, my... my 72 gold. Weapon. Um, oh my god. I'm in trouble. And I have no spell points. 
Yeah, I'm in the dark with... Where were you? This uh, level? Yeah, I was just over to the left a bit. Oh. Ah, where were you, though? We went through this level. We I ended up here. I was just to the left, like where that six is. I'm just to the left of that. <sighs> so I just need to go left. Left and down. You went Sweet to a door, to arrow, which is arrow. good. Sweet. And down. It's dark. You might be able to left. cast glow and now. Down. Oh, maybe. There you go. And then to the right. And then down. You're not going to get the gold. And to the left. No. Nope. They don't contain healing potions. Oh, that didn't seem to do anything, but it did. Send it. So you're here. What are sevens? Sevens, just gremlins is just what it says. Just signs. Oh, yeah. those are signs, the number. Yeah, they're signs. So I go there, Ooh. up. And something attacked me. Same things. And I'm going to die. <laughs> this time I'm going to die. You're so it's, negative. I think I have to run. Because my dragon's Can only... Can you run? No. But, like, my guy, I'm, oh. I need to get him out of the way. Because... Yeah, good luck with that. And I miss. Uh, I'll do a range attack. Erlen, do you have any suggestions? <laughs> we should, How do we should have bought the ring nail. Dead. Oh, I died. <laughs> and thus ends our game. And thus ends our game. <laughs> All uh, the gold is gone now. So but yeah, still you are cool. you are correct. We should have bought the chain mail or whatever it is. Yeah, you need we a can't, We'd have guy. to go and then come back and, and work our way back through it. Yeah. So yeah, fair enough. Because the need the, to level up more. The enemies are just too difficult past around level five in the dungeon. Yes. Yeah. yeah, really juiced up. So. Yeah. Still uh, very cool. I love the dungeon. Have you ever seen it's a program amazing. called Grid Cartographer, James? I've. Yeah, I think you suggested that last time for. Um, for uh, mapping out, but I did not get to use it. And Dan uh, left us, and Kev says, "Just easy. Just don't die." Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, but we did. We didn't take your advice. Same with yeah. chess. You just so. checkmate the king. No problem. Done. That's it. <laughs> Our penalt. Very, very good. Um, very deadly. I thought we could breeze through it because we're at level six, but it was more... Same with chess. You just checkmate the king. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very simple. Yeah. So very easy. Um, so we needed to upgrade before we went into the lower levels. Yeah. I think we're at a level that's fine. I th we needed the armor because we could hit them no problem. But they were just destroying us when they did hit, hit us. Just at level, well, we're, we're at level seven. That was uh, that was uh, okay. dungeon seven. So it, there's only up to dungeon eight. So we were pretty close to the end. But yeah, a little bit more um, strength and leveling up probably. And yeah, and the lovely the lovely shiny chainmail would have helped us a lot. So. Yeah, yeah. So uh, today's games we played chess, which was very very cool to finally be able to mm -hmm. play that in the stream. I'm really glad Erlen joined us, and, yes. and you didn't force me to play because <laughs> that would have been horrific. So yeah. wouldn't have been quite as yeah. interesting. Yeah, I'm glad you could work it out and get Erlen to. Yeah, he's at about 15 seconds of delay, so I'm gonna just gonna reset no him for the end here. Okay. Because that's just terrible. Uh, activate, activate. Now he's back to zero. Hooray! Um, so and we played also uh, mm -hmm. Local Hero, which is a lot of fun. It's in early stages, of course. Uh, I don't understand this game any more than I do chess. <laughs> and we played Penalt, which is awesome. Uh, um, it's still in its early stages. There's not a lot of towns where you can get different armor and and things to upgrade. But it's, you can see where it's where it's going. It's and, got the basics. And, uh, yeah, it, it's fun. It's super fun to play. And the dungeon is very filled out. I mean, very filled out. Yeah, yeah. No, it's I mean he cool. just like he did with the towns and the land before he mm -hmm. altered it. He's just taken a, an existing map from Ultima 3. So mm. he's going to be ma making his own maps up okay. and altering that. But he just created a dungeon based on that. that yeah, but sense. he's got it fully working. Like oh, every, yeah. Everything's working. The yeah. traps, 
the winds that blow out your light. Yeah. The the, the chests, the enemies, mm -hmm. the ladders, everything's working. And that's that's really really awesome. And uh, so next episode we are going to be playing an Atari 7800 game. We have an exclusive Atari oh, 7800 game. Very cool. That has not been announced yet. Okay. Yes. It's a mystery. Yes. So that is uh, that is pretty cool. And we'll also be playing, let's see, as soon as it loads up, uh, we'll be trying for the Starfire patch again. I've got a couple more hints um, okay. from Thomas yet. Okay. To, to push a little further? Yeah. Because he okay. has pretty much the top score in the world on yeah. Starfire. Okay. So he knows what he's doing. <laughs> um, and I... Maybe one more game. We'll see how it goes. Nice. And but so that will be fun. And then we have Ardvark, our last attempt on it on the okay. sixth. Yeah. To try and get to top score yeah. and try and beat Thomas Yanch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who is who topped my score almost instantly when I posted it. Uh, you'll do it. You'll beat him. I, I have Temporarily faith. I will beat him. Yeah. And he'll top me. <laughs> I I don't know. You're that's a game you're good at, so Yeah, yeah. Not I bad. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. That's on May sixth. And on May 13th, we have an exclusive, new, secret, nobody knows what it is, Champ Games Homebrew. Ooh. Not been talked about, not been released. Yes, very, very exciting. <laughs> yeah. And in the meantime, I'm going to try and fix this problem. Yeah. Because it worked really it well. It did, yeah, yeah. Except for the delay that builds up over time, so I'm not sure... It's good, at least, at least you can reset it. Like, at least you're yes. able... I know that's annoying to do, but it's, it's a good... It's good that it's yeah. working. Hey, Metal Lunar. Yeah. He says, hey, Hello. zero pagers. <laughs> um, so that's on the 13th is the Champ Game Secret New Homebrew. No idea what it is. What it is. He says it hasn't been guessed before. And there's so many arcade games. And it's probably a, an arcade game because he said you could guess it. Mm. So it is another port. Um, and as promised, I'm going to give out the interview uh, with... Uh, interview with Dianoid that we mm. did. It took me long enough, a couple months, to get it finally done. But uh, thankfully, I did get it finished off today. Ooh, that's very exciting. And that's the one we did at PRGE. There we go. That was in go. November, right? There's yeah. the link to it. Yep, at uh, PRG 2019 in October. Nice. Um, but I've been very, very busy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lots of excuses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, we got it. I finally got it done. And so I'll be posting that properly tomorrow on YouTube. But everybody on Twitch gets a little sneak preview for watching live. Um, so thank you, everybody, um, that tuned in. We're going to rattle off some names here. Metal Lunar 7, Nathan Strum, Kev73, Dan AVC, RC7E, Carl G. Thank you for making penult. Mm -hmm. Uh, very very awesome arena foot mega end uh, i haven't seen before very cool welcome uh Catherine Catherine 2d uh, andrew davy of andrew course davy yeah for making chess thank yes. you very much gretams is in there gretams uh kev kelly and i saw spartan 581 and uh kilos 80 yeah, Spartan 581. Excellent. And one day I'd like to get interviewed by James. One day. One day. I'll make my way through everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one at a time. Yes. And I've actually, part of setting this up with Erlen and getting this working is something that I want to do on the stream is to do a developer spotlight and run through the games while we're playing the games, have them live mm -hmm. on the show. I think that would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So we're really close to getting it done. We just have to fix this weird delay building up issue. Mm -hmm. But I think I, I can do that um, on my own time. I don't have to bother Erlen with it <laughs> because I can just stream anything. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and play with it. And yeah. then see what fixes it when it gets out of sync. So I don't have to occupy Erlen's time. So hopefully <laughs> I'll get that fixed by... Mm -hmm the next episode and have Erlen real time again, mm -hmm. not in a weird delay. And it, it happens. Um, so thank you everybody. And we'll be back on. It yeah, it does, but we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll be back on Sunday. Yes. yes. We'll be back on Sunday 
uh, with some more games, the ones I promised, uh, Starfire and the Atari 7800 world debut mm -hmm. of a game. So that's very exciting. Um, so thanks for hanging out, and thank you, Erlen, for joining us today. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will see you next time. See you on Sunday. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.